Hello everyone, my name is Chris and I'm going to show you how to add hyperlinks into your documents in InDesign. Um, so what I've got here is just a blank canvas which you can get by just going to File, New, Document and setting up the settings that you want. But all I'm going to focus on is your URL and your hyperlinks. So, say for example, you have your document all set up here. Let's just drop some things in. Just have like an image here, for example. And then maybe text would fall underneath. And say if it was the text that you wanted to turn into a hyperlink, you would just say, Whatever your text wants, so for example, text here, and I'm just going to get rid of that font because I can't stand it. Helvetica, that's better. So you got your text here. Now, if you wanted to turn this text into a hyperlink, there are two ways you can do that. First of all, it's by see here that the box is highlighted, got the blue box there. What you would do is go to your hyperlinks. If that's not there, you might have to have a different setup to myself there. You can always just go to Window, go to Interactive, click on your hyperlinks there, and it'll come up and it'll give you this little window here. So there we go, we'll go back. We've got our box highlighted. What we want to do in this box here is to create a new hyperlink. Boom, there we go. And you'll see that this box comes up here and also adds in the preface of the HTTP colon slash slash so from here I can just put in say for example I'll add in my personal website just so you can see how that works Chris McCutch UK that's me shared hyperlink destination all this means is that you can set up other other elements in the document to have the same hyperlink. I'll show you more on that in a second. Now I want this to have an invisible rectangle, so I just want it, what that means is in the, the final PDF or the final image, it won't actually have anything pointing to it, it won't be obvious, you use that, you use whatever elements that are already there, something like some text saying click here for example. Um, that would already tell you to click here. You don't need any, any visible rectangles around it. And I don't need any highlights either, so I'll just go to OK. Text here. You've got that there, and you see you've got your URL folds in the little box there. And all that means is if I go to your export, file, export, I'm going to show you how this looks. So if we just go and test, let's just save that to my very, very crowded desktop. We'll go. Now this is the important part. You see on this general page, you've got include hyperlinks. You need to make sure that that is clicked, otherwise it won't work. You need to include interactive elements like hyperlinks in the export panel. So if we go to export, it will come up shortly and you'll be able to see it. There we go. So that's the page we've just made. And you can see that that box that's highlighted in this panel is now a hyperlink to, well it would be a link to my website if I had www. I've only got www. so it's not going to take me to my page, but you get the gist of how it could work. So we're going to go back in cross that off. Say if you just wanted the text itself to be a hyperlink, then you do the same thing. Just highlight the text as you would in any text panel in InDesign. Create new hyperlink and I'll go www.chrismccutch.co.uk Hyperlink, invisible rectangle, 
keep all the settings the same, link to URL. Notice as well, you can also link to emails as well. All you would do is put in the email address and it would also sort it out for you. InDesign would sort that for you. So link to URL, OK, text here. And if we go to export, I'm just going to hit the, the shortcut, Command D on Mac or Control E on Windows. Test, I'm just going to replace the one we've just made. Yeah, that's fine. Export. Now you see it's also what InDesign is automatically done. It's turn the text blue and give it an underline, which is normal and standard in hyperlinks. So if we click it, then it will come up. My hyperlink that I've just put up there, so that's working perfectly. There we go. And you can also hyperlink images, so for example, say if this was a graphic or um, a photograph that you wanted to make clickable, you would do the same thing, just make sure it's highlighted. Go to your hyperlink panel, create new, put in your address, OK, and it's as simple as that. Now if you wanted to give something else the same hyperlink that you've already made, say for example I'm going to make this a circle, there we go, it's a lovely circle. If I want this to be a hyperlink and I've already got one there, just highlight it and click the hyperlink that you've made earlier. And this turns this panel turns into a library of all the different ones that you've made in the past and it saves you have to re-input new hyperlinks every time. Simple as that. That is your hyperlinks right there. And if you have any questions or queries, give me a shout on Twitter. I am at Salt Angel Blue or give me any questions that you might have. Cheers.